Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here today, and today I'd like to paint um, this sort of impressionistic landscape for you. Sometimes when I want to paint, I want to sort of express a feeling or an emotion, uh, but still paint a landscape. So that's when I rely on my memory of places I've been things I've felt, the way that I've responded to the beauty and the rugged desolation of certain types of landscape that I've found myself in over the years. And so when I paint, I've got lots of those sorts of thoughts in mind and I'm trying to sort of get that feeling across in my painting. Today I'm using Milford 100% cotton watercolour paper. It's 11 inches by 15 inches or 28 centimetres by 38 centimetres. It's taped to my board with ordinary decorators masking tape and today I'm starting with my board flat on my painting table. And today I've got in mind memories of many, many holidays on the north coast of Cornwall, near Polzeth, um, with the sand dunes and the distant beach at low tide, the sort of desolate feeling of that beautiful place out of season in the winter weather or the autumn with strong winds and gales. So I'm going to wet my page all over and I'm going to use the wet in wet method. I'm going to deliver the page paint onto the paper using um, a flat plastic card. It's a flexible card and I use it just to um, scrape the paint onto the wet page and then try and sort of use that mark to create a sort of impressionistic landscape that evokes the feeling that I'm trying to get across as I paint those memories that I have. So here is the card and I've squeezed out fresh paint, fresh from the tube, little blobs along the edge uh, from left to right, Payne's Grey, um, Indigo, Lavender, Burnt Sienna and Raw Umber. And now I'm going to scrape the paint um, across to create a sort of a horizon line of sand dunes, distant dunes. And you can see the paint is just coming off and um, I'm just creating these kinds of sort of horizontal um, areas that are softening out and diffusing gently but still staying in this horizontal um, sort of um, orientation. And I've dipped um, a flat brush into some of the indigo and I'm now pulling that horizontally across for a pale um, sky. I don't want the sky to be too complicated, I just want it to complement the beautiful marks that have been made by delivering um, the rich watercolour paint onto the paper in this way. So now I'm just using the brush to enhance the effect, to pull down some pale washes to give me that impression of shadow, a little bit of water on the sand maybe, something and nothing. It could be anything that you like, but I'm just, as I say, trying to sort of paint memories and emotions and sort of my feelings about the beauty of these wild and rugged beach landscapes. So a bit more paint because there's still some on the card to create a foreground. You can see that the paint is is quite thick, quite rich so I can then go into the paint and I can sort of spread it around a little bit, but still keeping that lovely differentiation of colour so that it sort of blends wet in wet on the page. And then taking the corner of my store card, I can etch through that rich paint and it'll create the impression of grasses just growing up across the dunes. And as I paint and make these marks, I'm not at all concerned about whether or not my colours are realistic or anything like that. All I'm looking for is the colours, um, the values, the diffusions, the soft and the hard edges to just evoke that sense of place and memory. 
Of course, if you try something like this for yourself, your memories will be different. Um, places that you want to exp and feelings that you want to express will be different. And you may want to express yourself using colours that are closer to realistic landscapes. And that just means that you'll make different colour choices to start with. So paintings like this um, are a really nice way to paint in its own right, but it can also be a really interesting exercise in sort of loosening up and letting go and just letting the paint and the water interact on the page, tipping and tilting the board and just seeing what you can make of the marks um, that are created as the card delivers the paint to the page. So now I'm going to leave it flat to dry completely and then come back and have a look and see if I need to do any more. But I think it's, it's almost finished. So here it is. It's dried a little bit lighter, although it's still nice and richly toned where the fresh paint was delivered thickly and a nice sort of transparency where the really thin washes were spread across the midground and the sky. So I think I just need to maybe add a little bit of detail. So I'm going to take my small calligraphy brush, mix up um, whatever's left on the card into a sort of a little slightly darker colour and then just add in maybe just a few little marks to emphasise some of the marks that are already on the page and just to extend them a little bit um, across the horizon. You could, of course, at this point, add lots more detail. You could add some more trees. You could add figures, uh, birds in the sky. You could add anything, really. But I think when I paint like this, I'm looking to evoke a really sort of desolate, um, rugged, but quite tranquil landscape. And so I like to keep things as sort of empty as possible. So what I am going to do is add in some detail to the foreground just enough to lead the eye into the painting and up into the rest of the painting so I'm dotting in paint wetting the brush weakening the wash within those dots allowing the paint to color blend within those little areas that I'm painting and this should give me this really pretty um, suggestion of plants and flowers and weeds sort of overgrowing the dunes in the foreground. So just these small dotted marks um, just make a real difference to the foreground and balances out the tones and values in the composition and leads the eye into the rest of the painting. So I'm going to call that finished. And here it is um, against um, a clean white board. Um, I've retaped it with clean tape so you can sort of see um, how it looks without the paint covered tape. But I'm keeping it taped up because it hasn't quite flattened out yet. If we look closely, I'm hoping that you can see there are some beautiful marks and textures some of them really bold and hard edged, but there are some really soft lost and found edges and, and really uh, pale transparent washes. And it's this combination that really helps to evoke a sort of an emotional response and helps to create a really expressive painting. Well, I hope it was helpful to see my process for sort of painting this um, memory painting um, and trying to evoke a sort of expressive atmosphere. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because that really helps with our reach and it's free to do, of course. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. So have a wonderful week, take care and happy painting. Bye.